This tutorial will take a look at uh, using the uh, numbers from the income statement here to create a formal income statement. And so let's just make this full screen. And so uh, we'll click on the uh, income statement tab. And this is the general format for the income statement. And so um, right down to the net income at the bottom here. So the first thing we need at the top, and actually notice that this is for a periodic business. There's a whole section for the calculation of cost of goods sold. For the uh, perpetual one, there's only a single line item for cost of goods sold because you keep track of that perpetually throughout the uh, accounting cycle. So uh, right at the top is sales revenue. So we go back to the worksheet, and sales revenue is the 74600 here. So we would copy that amount and go to the income statement and paste that in the middle cell here. Uh, under sales discounts and returns, so again back to the worksheet, sales returns are the 600, sales discounts are the 178, and so we're going to subtract both of those, so both of those are negative, so we will go negative 178 and um, negative 600, and of course if you want to use the brackets there you can. Uh, notice that my formatting here is different, so I'll fix that. Under currency, I'll make sure it's two decimal places, and it is. There we go. We total those two, and that's that amount goes out here. So this cell actually would be just the sum of this cell plus this one. And so in order to get the net sales, and we're supposed to uh, double, sorry, s single bold underline both of those. So let's turn off the full screen and go into here and we need a thick bottom border, there we go. And so over here, this is the sum of this plus C8. So 73,822 is the net sales. Now we get to the cost of goods sold calculation. So beginning inventory, uh, that is the uh, 57,960. So we'll copy that amount. And that goes in the middle here. And we're going to add to that the purchases. So we go back and look for purchases. Purchases is a 17,460. Uh, we will subtract from that the purchase returns and allowances and the discounts. And if we look in the worksheet, those purchase returns are the 1285 and discounts are the 755. So we go back to the income statement. So this is negative 1285 and negative 755. And my formatting is different again, so we'll fix that. And so we add those two together and put that amount right here. And we're supposed to have a uh, thick bottom border below both of those. So if we take these two and then subtract the 2004, we get what are called net purchases. So this would be the sum of this cell plus this cell plus this cell. And so 73,380 is the net purchases. We'll add to that freight in, so back to the worksheet again. Uh, freight in is this 2475. So that amount goes right there, and my formatting's off again. Let's just fix that for all of these cells. Currency, two dozen places. There we go. And so we need a thick bottom order here. And goods available for sale then would be the uh, sum of these two. So we take the two of these and we use the auto sum feature. And so that's the goods available for sale. And so we have to subtract from that the ending inventory. So ending inventory was the 55,124. So we can copy that amount. And of course, we're subtracting that, so another thick bottom border there. And so we add those two together. 
and 20,700 and actually that amount is supposed to be right over here so let's just fix that equals this plus this and so that's the uh, that's the cost of goods sold so we're supposed to put a thick board and bottom border there and we take the net sales and subtract the cost of goods sold and that's the gross profit so equals this sum minus this sum so fifty three thousand ninety one dollars is the gross profit now for operating expenses we just take all of these and put them in the middle here and total them up and so I'll pause the video for that because that's just really a copy and paste so once we have all those copied we'll put a thick border right here and then the sum of all these actually goes out in the third column here so that would be the sum of all the numbers in column C from 26 to 32 so C 26 colon C 32 enter so that's the total operating expenses and total operating income is this 53,091 minus that amount and so that'll go right here equals this cell minus this cell there we go forty one thousand and three dollars is a total operating income now we have these extraordinary uh, items down here interest expense and loss and sale of assets and again we go back to the uh, worksheet to get those interest expense is a twenty nine thirteen maybe we'll copy that one and the loss of sale of assets is fifteen thousand four twenty so we put both of those in the middle here and 15 420 and once again we're down to different formatting so let's fix that currency two dozen places so we're supposed to put a thick bottom border there we add these two and put that amount over here equals this plus this and then we thick bottom border there and we take, take the operating income and subtract the uh, total non-operating expenses and we put that in the net income cell right here and then a double border double line underneath that 22,760 of course go back to the worksheet and you see that 22,670 is the uh, net income and that's how you prepare the income statement